Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video I showed you how to install and use this Mary UI, but that video has no sound and I'm going to create uh, one or more videos again for the Mary UI. So I have created a project and also yeah, here is the project and install this uh, Mary UI in this project. Now what I'm going to do, go to docs and in this video I'm going to create a layout using the Mary UI. So you can install here, so here we have installation, run the composer require, PHP artisan Mary install, and then npm run dev or yarn dev. Okay, I have used breeze, so I need to use the x Mary prefix in all of the component. Okay. So first I'm going to open also the DB engine, start the DB engine, and let's open the Laravel here. I'm going to register with a new user, so let's say admin, admin, test, and 1 to 8. Okay. Now here we have this dashboard, but I'm going to change that. So let's open the layout in the Mary UI. We have this section, layout section. Here we have only the sidebar, so we need to add the read app CSS on the HTML and then add some classes on the body and then we need to add the x now and also the x main but also we have all together we have the nav bar sidebar and footer which this one i'm going to add so let's open the vs code and i'm going to navigate the resources views components here i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to name it layouts and inside create a new file app.play.php now the live wire is going to look for this one to render the components let's say here html5 the title is going to be mary ui maybe tutorial here and yeah we need to have so let's go to layouts app and just copy this and add it right here. Okay. Next, let's uh, add classes on the body tag. I'm going to copy and paste it. So inside the body, let's add them. And then add the nav bar. So I'm going to copy the nav bar first and paste it. Let's close this also. And then do the main content copy and paste it right here now because i have installed this with the uh, breeze i need to add the prefix mary right here so on all the mary components let's say mary dash i'm going to copy this and add it on all the components so on the icon also on the button button uh, main here on the menu also on the menu item and on the menu item here and I think uh, yeah we are okay let's save and now let's open the dashboard which dashboards right now uses this X app layout let's change that let's say use the layouts dot app okay, okay so the component we just created components layouts up here and now let's see if i open the laravel uh, yeah of course we need to run the npm run dev first and now let's come here and refresh yeah here we have this uh, layout we have a header a sidebar a footer here and then the main content is going to be here but uh, I'm going to change this so let's go to layout and if I go here the customize so you can customize config colors and themes I'm going to go to themes here and we need to add the this UI object with themes array on titan config.js file 
So let's copy that and let's open the title in config file. And right here, I'm going to add the DZ UI and add themes light, dark, and cupcake. Now, here we have more, as you can see, light, dark, cupcake, uh, bumbly bee, bumbly bee, and so on. So here you can add all of them if you want. But I'm going to add only this and I'm going to use the cupcake here. And we can use that by adding the data theme on the STML. So to copy that, let's close now this one and let's go to app component and in the HTML tag, I add this one, save. And now let's navigate the Mary UI tutorial. And yeah, we have something like this. Now, if you prefer this, okay. If you don't like the color here, I'm going to change that. So let's go where we have the sidebar. So this is a sidebar that works also as a drawer on small screens. We have BG Slate 200. This is okay, but maybe I'm going to change that to say uh, BG Orange. And I'm going to use, let's say 100 for now. And yeah, we have something like this. And maybe not 100. Let's say 50 for now. Yeah. I think now it's more okay. Good. On the app, I'm going to add. So where we have that brand here, I'm going to add the image. And inside the public, I have created this images directory, ing, and I added the logo here, which is this logo. And instead of the div, I'm going to add the image with the source, the B assets. Okay, the H is going to be 12 and the width is going to be auto. And the logo is going to be inside the images slash logo. I'm going to save that and let's see. Yeah, here is the logo now. I think we are okay. Next, uh, let's open again the Mary. Go to layout. And on the first sidebar here, when we have only sidebar, we have this uh, for the user. This list, I'm going to copy that and navigate. Mary menu and let's close this and let paste that one. So we have this for the user. If we have the user, we have to display the user username. And also we have this button to log out. We have this border white sky, but let's save and let's see for now how it's going to look. So let's go. Yeah, I forgot to add the on the list first the Mary dash prefix and here Mary dash and let's save. let's go here and yeah we have something like this we have admin and the button here now if you prefer okay if you don't like that so in my case I'm going to change that to be not sky but orange uh show up yeah, something like this. I think we are okay now. Let's uh, add a link here to be the dashboard, to be the dashboard. And this is going to be a link for the post because I have created the post. So if I open post migration here, I have added the title, slug and content. And also the post uh, model, I have added only the fill label. Now, with open the I term here and let's zoom it a little bit with the CD the herd and CD the Mary dash UI and here I'm going to create a live wire component so artisan make live wire I'm going to name it a post index the component 
hit enter now that components created so let's open the web routes and register a new route here i'm going to copy this just to save some time paste it here not view is going to be get slash post and here now we are going to use the post index class we created and the middleware to protect so only the authenticated authenticated user can see that and also the dashboard posts index and let's save that let's close now here when we have the after the user list we have two links the home and the message this is going to be the dashboard i'm going to name it dashboard and the link of course is going to be slash dashboard this one is going to be for the posts so let's say posts and the link is going to be slash sorry slash posts let's save and let's see first yeah we have dashboard and post now if i go to post yeah we are on the post as you can see this is highlighted but let's open the post uh, post dash index blade and for now i'm going to say just the uh, h1 with some classes just say post and if i say yeah now we have post and dashboard post and dashboard okay friends that's it all about this video now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one where on the post we're going to add uh, a header with a button and an input for search and also a table to display all the posts okay so see you there